and welcome aboard Lady Lot. In this video I will take you through a very calm port of Rotterdam. And yes, I know, we also have been here before. We covered the port of Rotterdam many times, but there is so much to see. And in the previous video I told you about my boat job disaster with the bow thruster. So. We are heading to the boatyard in Raamsdongsveer for repairs. And I was lucky to have Sandbarge Zapara close by, so all the bridges in Alphen aan de Rijn opened the moment we arrived. And when the barge went another way, I was on my own again and I drove to the lock of Gouda, where we met the special transport again, who had to wait for the 7 o'clock opening of the train bridges and whilst docking at the locks, you and I said goodbye and that video came to an end. When the special transport had passed the 7 o'clock bridge, they were allowed to enter the Gouda locks, the Juliana locks. And the tug barge left the convoy and joined the starboard lock with me. This lock in Gouda has a terrible wall because of the piles on the wall and the plank in the water. Anyhow, we left the locks and sailed on the Hollandse IJssel towards the storm surge barrier of Krimpen aan de IJssel. And since I have covered this river multiple times, I skip this part. So, at the end of the day I arrive at the waiting pontoon of the storm surge barrier and I get permission from the lock operators of the lock, which is next to the storm surge barrier, to dock over here for the night. Also the Danish sailboat I mentioned before joins me here. And the next morning it's a beautiful day. And I dressed as if it's summer. Good morning. There's a big contrast between light and shadow, as you can see. It's um, 8.15. And uh, we have slack tight at the Hollandse IJssel. <clears throat> and as always, you are the first that I'm talking to. <clears throat> I had some breakfast, but nevertheless my voice sounds like the morning voice. Anyhow, um, I am at uh, Krimpen aan de IJssel, at the storm surge barrier and we will go through Rotterdam and we have the current with us, if I did my calculations correct. I think it will be a day on the flybridge. But first, let's start up the systems. Yeah. Okay. Some wind is picking up, there is a barge coming towards us, but um, well, I first have to detach the lines and then I, uh, what's the wind? Almost on the bow, so we can easily move backwards. What's the height? Uh, eight and a half meters. I need seven ten, so that is okay too. 
two engines on? Yes. Let's go. It is 8.35. Nice. It seems that uh, it's slack. There should be a little bit of current with us. And at uh, approximately 10 o'clock, so within one hour, one hour and a half, then um, two hours, then we have the current a little bit against us, but within two hours we are in the bottleneck area, as it is called. And then um, we go to the crossing to the Audemars, and then five, six, seven, eight uh, kilometers further on, 10 kilometers further on, I will go to the Spui. Yep. It is very, very calm on the river Nieuwe Maas. It seems as if all barge skippers took a day off. <laughs> that was funny, so funny. I just drove by uh, a passenger ship and all of a sudden I see an acquaintance, Instagram follower and I follow her. She was a passenger boat captain in the Leiden area and we start following each other on Instagram and all of a sudden I see her. <laughs> funny. Of course, no cameras, so we could not take pictures. And all of a sudden I see her drinking coffee on the deck of her uh, boat. She's one of the captains over there. Funny. Oh, talking about coffee. Hmm, coffee time. With Merchpijp. <coughs> Whilst I was uh, creating, making the coffee, I thought in the Netherlands we have, um, um, we, we make appointments, then uh, for instance we say, okay, how late shall we meet? And then somebody says, how about coffee time? And then everybody understands the time, it is approximately 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning is approximately coffee time. Funny. I cannot tell why it is 10 o'clock and not 9.30 or 10.30. Yeah. 
How late shall we meet? Well, uh, coffee time. Yeah, okay, see you then. Funny. Okay, more traffic on the VHF, another channel, 61 for the sector bottleneck, there's more traffic and uh, I have to uh, cross to port because we are now on the Nieuwe Maas and we will go to the Oude Maas and um, as calculated the current comes in already because I still have my refs on uh, 1450 both engines and the speed is 10 kilometers per hour so it decreased for sure and uh, there is a, a tanker barge uh, on port side of me it is on uh, 125 meters and also that barge is heading for Oude Maas. So I will um, keep an eye on him. Let's see and there is nothing behind me. Not on the AIS. And not on camera. And off camera there was uh, a communication uh, between uh, sector botleg operator and, um, and uh, a couple of barges because there were two recreational boaters and they crossed the river without um, reporting. They did not like that. No. So after they crossed they, they came on the channel and uh, the operator said Please, 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 do not cross the river without reporting. Next time do. I will, I will, he said. Sector Botlek, Lady Lieselot. Lady Lieselot, Sector Botlek. Een hele goede morgen. Um, ik zit achter de Leonardo zoals je wellicht hebt gezien en ik uh, stuur met hem mee naar de Oude Maas. Lieselot, zegt de uh, botlek, dat is begrepen. Uh, er is geen uitspraak naar de Oude Maas. Ja, meegeluisterd, stand by. Alright. <laughs> Black smoke, 
out of the <laughs> exhaust of Leonardo. He's speeding up because the current comes in right now at 9.3 kilometers. So we have four kilometers of current against at the moment, more than two knots. And uh, well, you saw it in the captions, I am allowed to uh, join Leonardo in the run towards the outer mass. Have a look at the water. I cannot, uh, I, I, I cannot tell if you can see it on the PTZ cameras, but this is where the current from sea, there over there, from sea and a little bit of the current from the inland, from the newer mass and from the outer mass comes together and then you, well, you have funny waves. Luckily, there is no wind, otherwise it would look completely different and the boat would dance. I think it is time to go to the flybridge also because it becomes sunnier. So, I would suggest that you join me. Let me think, what do I need? I need my portable VHF. We are on 61. What do we need? We need uh, sunglasses. Check. We need throttle control. So I need to switch this one off. And I will... Where are you? And I will bring you with me. So... Boom, boom. Switch over to throttle control. Yes. Oh, sunscreen. That is very good. Okay, let's go. Come on. Yes, I am sorry. The moment that you see me in a complete different outfit than you saw in the footage before, it means that this video comes to an end. Yep. I hope you liked the content so far and if you do please give me the thumbs up for the content that I produced and it was a pleasure to have you on board of Lady Lieselot. For now I would say thank you very much for joining and I hope to see you in the next video. Alright then, bye bye!